in the script, when Barton traveled from New York in the first scene to LA, they had written one of those old 1940s montages of train whistles blowing and the, and the train tracks going and the wheels turning. And so we were sitting there in, in the editing room and then we just thought, well, why don't we just get him there? He's just there. It was a joke. The problem was, this is like a 10 second dissolve. The, the footage didn't exist to keep John in one position uh, while the, it was dissolving from the rock. They did the slate, it was like take one, the guy ran out of the frame, and then a beat later, John started walking forward. So in order to do this dissolve, we had to loop the section where he was standing still to extend the time. It was basically a, almost a freeze frame where he was standing in the background. But in the foreground of the shot, there was a fan that was spinning. So we couldn't freeze that part of the shot because it would be not moving, and then it would start moving at the point where John started walking. So yeah, it was all manufactured in the, in the editing room. When you hit a bell, it certainly doesn't last that long. So, so we took uh, each take they did when he hit the bell. We, we just sort of spliced the sections of the bell together to get it to the length that we needed. And it sounded very loopy. But then it was replaced by uh, Skip Leafsay, the sound designer. So he designed that sound and he replaced our loopy sounding temp bell with Skip's great version when, uh, when he came on board.